live because now comes the description of the meditations. Yay. Hey. And then, of course, I have a record to kind of write it up later because yes. I want to take notes. Stuff like this, man. So, are you in there too, Dallas? I don't know, am I? No, just the top of your head. Here, let's just do the whole thing like this. Oh my gosh. No, don't do some personal. No, I'm still not in there. Oh, goodness. Because Dallas always has something to say. I don't have anything to say. Nothing. Oh, you come don't. on. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I just, I don't know where I went. Um, I went far, far away. I was gone before we even got through the middle pillar, I think. Mm. Yeah, I kept drift. I was drifting a little bit. So yeah. I kept us on, kept yeah. us on track. We didn't lose it entirely. No, no. I was definitely like... Going, going, and then the, the there was just like this long, straight, just this path of, and the goddess, the, there was the moon, the silvery bow in the sky, mm. and it was like, like images I've seen of, you know, the Sahara at night, where it's all dark. And you can just see this like dark, dark sky and and things in the distance mm. that are look mm. almost like silhouettes, but everything's in kind of this inky blue indigo indigo color. And this goddess with the with the on her head the bow, the moon. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and she just put her arms up like that and like as if a, a welcome or something mm -hmm. the and triple goddess crown or the crescent crown the crescent crescent crown. crown yeah and just and we just started walking along this path and it was more sensation and there were images but it was i don't know it was some strange really deep, deep, strange things, like images of, of maybe past life stuff. I don't know. But, yeah. I don't know. It was, it was really, it was just a sense of, of being in awe and being in her presence. And it just was really humbling and just very peaceful and just a feeling that we're moving through this path and at the end of the path it was lighter but everything it was like there was a glow in in the far far distant and we were walking we were moving towards that glow and that that was just stay on the path. Was sort stay of, on the path. Is the stay message. on the path. Yeah, was just stay on the path and and don't. Things were popping up here and there. Things concerns or and I just was not supposed to pay any attention to those. Just stay on this path. And it was just all really dark. And that at the end of the path, it gets light. And that was, that was kind of it. I mean, it was very, very visual, but it, that was the message. There wasn't a lot of other, she's a woman of very few words. Mm. She's a goddess of very it's few words. It's not about so, an explanation. Here. No, no. It's no. about uh, feeling it inside and knowing it. Just knowing it in your spirit. When you say past life things, was it like past life sort of glimpses or just kind of odd like things from history or I'm a little kid or I'm this person or that person? No, or this it was is the environment of, or that's sort the environment. Of, sort of glimpses, Flashes. I guess, mm -hmm. of, of things that I felt were like past life things and images of places and, but everything in shadow, like with, with sort of brighten and dark. And brighten mm. and dark. And, 
like things along the side of this path. Uh, yeah, like just don't pay them any. They're, don't worry they're, about it. Yeah, don't worry about it. They're, it's off to the side. That's right. Yeah. It's not the focus. That's right. The focus is up there. The focus is where you want to, you want your heart to be is up there. You want your spirit to be is up there. And so just stay, stay on this path and yeah. Keep it a focus. Yeah. Keep it light. Yeah. In this case. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was kind of cool though. Which one? It was really pretty. It was pretty. Even though everything was sort of in this indigo, but then the other things that were up there by the light were like, like in silhouette. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It was, it was kind of interesting. Interesting. It was interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Should be cool. But... <sighs> How about uh, you? Well, 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 that was interesting. Yes. Of course, I was during the middle trying to conduct this all through and do it home. The middle pillar exercise that's so important for raising awareness to get into the state that you want for this. But I was almost drifting off when I was trying to, oh yeah, yeah, I think we've gone around up and down the up down down the left and up the right enough. Now I gotta do the okay, remember to switch. Oh I guess I've done that enough. We better get doing to this pillars, this fountain stuff. I mean, yeah. And so I was managed to keep to it, but um and I didn't really know where to take us from there. Probably would have been better if I just shut up because you were already going. I was eh, gone. Yeah, before the um, I was even done. Right? So, but I went again to this kind of cabin place I've been finding to go to. And sometimes in this cabin, I meet this higher self version or this Sasquatch being guy, and that uh, I know his name, but I'm not going to tell. <laughs> and um, I don't uh, need to know. Uh, no, and um, but this time it was just me, and there was this woman, female figure, and um, I think I've met this similar female figure in the same meditative place uh, before, but she was doing looking at tarot cards. This time she was stirring a cauldron mm. full of this black kind of dark liquid. Mm -hmm. You can sort of see the ripples that she's creating. And for some reason, I got this idea that, you know, I, I haven't really, re don't remember reading it in any of this material, really. But I really got this idea that this path is about the cauldron. Mm. And I, I know from, you know, studying a little bit of... Um, Celtic and uh, Irish fairy faith and mythology that the cauldron is so important mm. in the Irish mythology, especially because it's the cauldron of rebirth, the cauldron of... Mm -hmm. um, but for me, it seemed as though what she was, she was stirring, that she was creating the future oh, in her okay. cauldron, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. rather than a, in a web work or some other matrix, but it was mm -hmm. in the cauldron. And so I was actually trying to kind of meditate in the meditation, sitting at a, on a bench or at a table <laughs> in this room when she's during this cauldron. Right. And then I thought to help, and I thought, I, well, I got some things I'd like to put in the cauldron. Uh-huh. And one was, I forget what one, one I, forgot, I totally forgot what the first thing was. And then the second thing was this, was some belladonna berries. Oh. I got told, no, that's uh, too strong. Uh -uh. So she let me put in a pot bud, though. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't too that strong. That wasn't too strong. Okay. The pot bud was fine. Went in the cauldron. Mm -hmm. And uh, then what was really fun, and I'm going to have to try to experiment with this more, mm. um, is I became a crow. Oh, I was a crow in my meditation and I was so I was up in the rafters now as a crow looking through the eyes of this crow and I could see like my beak out there because their eyes are so but I right. got the idea that with their vision there's a little bit that they see with both eyes. Okay. Yeah. You know 
most of it's this side or that side, but because of the positioning of their eyes, there's a little bit in where they see their beak and the, the both with both eyes. Mm -hmm. And so I was trying, kind of was kind of weird <laughs> looking through these eyes. That's fun. But um, he went out. He went out this window and was mm. flying all around this sort of fairyland or something and ended up going to where in my dreams, my, I'll call it dreams, a meditation land, mm -hmm. where uh, Athena hangs out. Ah. And I didn't really have a lot to do with Athena as a crow, but I, I, I was, as a crow, I was, oh my gosh, there's this giant freaking owl. And I was like, subligate, sub, you know, kind yeah, of bowing yeah. down, because I was kind of with, uh. The crow telling this owl, like, please don't eat me. Because <laughs> it's, it's a giant owl, too. Yeah, yeah. Don't eat me. <laughs> and, um, I, there, yeah, but there wasn't, like, a verbal message or anything. It was, right. It was more just the experience, and then yeah. we um, ended up going through this little open, swivelly, round window in this cabin and back in and she's still in there stirring and yeah. I, I found I gave her a pearl and I was and but then she said no no I'll take that I don't, I don't want to put that in there okay <laughs> wow okay and, cool. um, pearls of wisdom pearls maybe I got some pearls of wisdom I can just figure out what it was <laughs> yeah and then um that was just, it was really lovely. And then, but it was all really kind of dark and there was just like this, this hearth fire and the cauldron and, and, um, and so the idea that kind of the stew is being prepared and it's all about what's going to happen. And, um, so the idea was to, um, I actually found myself praying to the goddess in my meditation mm -hmm. as so partly as a crow <laughs> but then as as just myself again mm -hmm. and that's when i got this idea of like kind of the goddess coming in from the west in, in the evening mm -hmm. well there was a presence in here there was a presence in here like i could feel it before we left the middle pillar mm -hmm. I felt in here. In here, yeah. Um, so it ended with this idea because, and I remember how I used to, like a dozen years ago, um, kind of have this prayer to the goddess, which was about um, help me to open my heart more, help me to love more, help me to. Like, it's just kind of positives, you know, kind of about, but it was a prayer in general. It wasn't for this, that, or, or whatever, but it was just to be more open, more clear, more loving mm -hmm. to the goddess. So I was remembering that. Mm -hmm. and, um, and that was about it. But yeah, it was exciting. Whoa. 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 Casey. Casey says, whoa, as well, guys. He was good enough to leave us alone until we were done, too. Yeah. Say hi, Casey. Hi, Casey. It's my boy. Okay, that's that. So we're going to turn on the, um, we're going to try to create a little group on the um, Facebook Messenger now. So, Love you guys. Bye. Bye.